In wake of LeBron's comments on Anthony Davis, NBA sends memo to teams on tampering. It was a well-coordinated effort by and his agent, Rich Paul of Clutch Sports. Days before and the Pelicans came to Los Angeles to face the Lakers, of with as the big headline. It was an effort to put pressure on the Pelicans, the Lakers would love to get in a trade conversation with New Orleans right now, but sources with direct knowledge of the Pelicans' plans have been clear with me, Davis is not being traded during this season. Was that dampering? By how the NBA has chosen to enforce the rules over time, it was not, players talking about other players has been allowed. Like it or not. And through the media moves like LeBron's represent a drop in the bucket of recruiting that actually goes on. Everyone tampers. Everyone knows it. And with player movement part of what is fueling the growth in the NBA's popularity, the league isn't going to come down hard on stopping it. Trying to save some face, the NBA sent a memo to teams about player tampering. In a memo obtained by ESPN on Friday morning, league counsel seemed to be alluding to James' scenario, saying, Employment contracts are to be respected and conduct that interferes with contractual employment relationships is prohibited. This principle is particularly important in today's media environment where any actions or comments relating to potential player movement receive immediate and widespread public attention. Teams should be entitled to focus their efforts on the competition this season with the players they have under contract, without having to divert attention or resources to conduct or speculation regarding the potential destinations of those players in future seasons once their contracts expire. OK, but what are you going to do about it? The memo says if player comments are part of a pattern of an organizational effort to recruit a player, it will be seen as tampering. Great. But the Lakers, already burned by tampering fines for Magic Johnson, are not the ones making a public push to get AD to LA. That's LeBron. He went to dinner with Davis after the Lakers slash Pelicans game, and the two share an agent so it's easy for LeBron to get that message through. Or, LeBron could just text Davis. Or talk to him at the All-Star Game events. Or a million other ways. Teams can do the same thing. The Lakers signed in part because he is a rich Paul slash clutch client and it helped establish a relationship that would bring future players to the team, but that's not tampering, that's a player signing. Proving an organizational effort by a team to tamper is going to be very difficult, unless the league gets a hold of smoking gun emails or something. Teams are smarter than that. All of this gets back to the main point above, how badly does the league really want to stop this? They don't want the perception of tampering. But player movement and rumors of player movement are a huge part of the game's popularity. The league doesn't really want it to stop. It's just about the perception. Loves his red wine. We all know that by now, and it's become sort of a personal character quirk for the Los Angeles Lakers forward. Usually when we think of LeBron drinking wine, it's after a game he tries to unwind at home. But, so he won't be suiting up for the Lakers for at least a few games. During that time, it appears that James is taking it easy. So easy, in fact, that James showed up before LA's game against the Los Angeles Clippers on Friday already carrying a glass of wine. Via Twitter, stemless. How modern. I assume LeBron was drinking an Oregon Pinot, as he's espoused his praise for it before. The future is here. At least, that's what I believe after watching Detroit Pistons big man show an NBA official over a play on a tablet where he thought he'd been fouled Friday night. During Detroit's loss to the Indiana Pacers, 125 to 88, Griffin could be seen pulling out a tablet and showing to show ref JTR where he thought he had been hit. Tablets are readily available on NBA benches for in-game review of tape, much like the NFL has for years, first with photographs and now tablets. The video is pretty hilarious, but also perhaps a critical moment in NBA player official relations. Via Twitter, is this even legal? Who knows? It seems like one of those things there's probably not a rule against right now but there could be by lunch on Monday. Stay tuned. Rival executives apparently believe that the Los Angeles Lakers will include wing in any trade for a star. Ingram is still trying to figure out how to play with, and he has struggled mightily. The third-year star has seen some of his advanced statistics drop significantly, and it has called into question whether Ingram is the right fit long-term next to James. LeBron will be out for an undetermined amount of time with A. It was also announced that has had surgery on his finger and could be. That gives Ingram some space to operate, which the Lakers youngster apparently appreciates. Via, it's an opportunity, Ingram said after shoot around Thursday, leading up to the game against the Kings. It's an opportunity for me to go out there and play my game a little bit more. I think I'm going to be a little bit more ball dominant, cutting off the basketball. I have to play even better defense and be on the help side on the defensive end. So it's a chance for me to just up my game a little bit. 
you could read into this a couple of different ways. The first would be the more reactionary measure of Ingram's quote, that he feels as though he is unable to play how he likes while next to the best player on the planet. The other way to interpret Ingram's comment is that he simply wants to get back into a rhythm. Lakers fans have been right to be patient with Ingram's development over the last two years, but he has certainly regressed as he tries to figure out what his role is with LeBron. That kind of stunting is not what you want to see for a young, 21-year-old player. Ingram's development probably isn't at the top of the list for Lakers fans at this moment. Of real interest is how this ramshackle roster can sustain the fifth spot in the Western Conference with James no longer on the floor. If Ingram is able to break out and help them stay afloat, all the better. Golden State Warriors forward is a three-time All-Star and a three-time NBA champion. He's a candidate for the Hall of Fame based on the rest of his career from here on out, and still remains one of the best defensive floor generals the league. But even the greats have off plays. As the Warriors took on the Portland Trail Blazers on Thursday night, Green ran a little action with that didn't go quite as planned. Thompson thought that he was coming up for a handoff as Green was going for a pass. The result was Green bonking Thompson in the face with a basketball. Via Twitter, why was Green passing the ball with so much force to Thompson? We may never know. I'm just glad that we have this play in our video archives for the rest of time. The Blazers beat the Warriors in not by with just a few seconds to go.